Hello, everybody. Today I'm interviewing Will Pugsley. He's the owner of the Pugsley Family Farms, and we're going to be selling 150 some acres for Will here coming up on May 19. And Will, thanks for being here with us. We'd like to get us a little bit of information from you. So tell us a little bit, first of all, about the history of the farm. I know your family's owned it for over 100 years. How long have you guys owned some of this land? And tell us a little history. Well, we bought this particular farm 172 years ago. And I was the fifth generation to farm it. And uh, there are two generations since me. Wow. And so we've really sustained seven generations off of this 160 acres is the way it started out. Uh, it was fully timbered at that time. The uh, My oldest ancestor uh, cleared all the land built all these buildings and barns with timber that was cut right here on site. And we even have the saws that they used to cut it. Uh, but it's sustained, as I said, seven, seven families. And I think we've, we've been good stewards of this land. And as a result, uh, we've all sustained good livings. Uh, it's, it's a nice area. It's a neighborhood of farmers, uh, was actually known as Glittenberg. What did you guys raise here over the years, Well, The farm started out raising uh, sheep initially. Really? Yep. Yeah. Um, and that progressed into uh, beef and hogs. Uh, and finally, in the 1880s, they started planting some fruit crops, basically apples and peaches. And uh, then a few grapevines came into the neighborhood, and people thought that uh, maybe they should try growing some grapes. Great. And so the farm had its first grape plantings in, in the mid-1880s, and those vineyards are still here on, on site today. Um, and as time progressed, uh, a, approximately 60 acres of grapes were planted on this okay. farm. Okay along with uh, substantial plantings of apples, pears, plums, peaches, uh, and cherries. And then eventually, the farm evolved into tart cherry production and grapes. Okay. And uh, that uh, were the last two fruit crops to, to be uh, managed and, and grown, and we're now down to just grapes. All right. Sounds like good fertile soil over the years. Huh? It is. It is. Yeah. It's a very light, stony, low, soil that uh, has been well suited to not only grain crops but the fruit crops. Yeah. Now you got a couple of houses, right? We have two buildings. Two houses on the property. One is the original house built on the property. Uh, the other was built by my grandfather in the early 1920s. Um, the buildings, uh, this barn that we're standing in front of, was built in 1849. Okay. And added on to three different times. Uh, still standing today and probably be here 100 years right. from now. Right. In good shape. Yep. Um, we've, there are also some newer pole barn structures. There's also a uh, uh, Michigan uh, and federal approved uh, spray containment yeah. Yeah. and load facility. And then we got some nice uh, land for building sites. We got some ten we acre do. parcels. We do. We've uh, we've created some some uh, some ten acre parcels for rural building, um, and uh, house property in this area is is not readily available. Right. right Hard now. to come by. Isn't it, it is. Yeah. So we we presented the opportunity, or the farm can go, or the farm can go farm. for farming, and yep. so we can buy a lot of acres. Huh? Yep. Yeah, willing to work with anybody. In the yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Will. Appreciate you taking the time to talk with us a little bit. Folks, don't forget, May 19 is the date of the auction. We're going to have a couple of open houses coming up where you can come and take a look. If you go to our website and uh, click on the auction, you'll be able to find a lot of good information there. We've got a bidder's packet. 
We've got a lot of pictures and a lot more information as well as information on the open houses. So we're looking forward to seeing you on May 19th. The auction is going to be held right here on the farm in one of the buildings. And we're looking forward to helping you get some good land or some homes bought. Thanks for listening.